Good morning, guys. I finally opened my Glam Glow. Um, I don't even remember what it's called. I just totally messed the whole thing up. I was trying to open it the other day on my unboxing and couldn't. Well, funny fact, you don't pull that whole white thing up. It was just this little elastic, like plastic thing on it. So now I have it literally all over me. This was not how I planned on starting my video, but since that's where we are, that's what we're going to do. Um, so, I've, so, all right, this is, where's my box? Glam Glow Glow Starter in Nude Glow. This is the hydrating, oh, it's everywhere, shimmering um, moisturizer that I'm going to use as my starter for this season. I finally committed and got the full size. Um, I've used this for a little bit as a sample. Oh my God, what a mess. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm just gonna put this on. So it's got all sorts of good things for your skin, plus it has this beautiful shimmer. And I hate this time of year, my skin starts getting really dull. So I really amp up the hydration and glow factor. Sorry, this lighting is garbage. Normally there's a little bit more light outside. Um, one thing that I wanted to do is show you my hair. I washed it Wednesday morning and then I used the Amika hot, hot brush smoother. And then I didn't do anything to it yesterday. Last night I just put one drop of Moroccan oil in and put it in a loose twist. Literally just took that out, I haven't brushed it yet, so I'm gonna brush it. And one thing that people always ask about natural beaded rose extensions is can you wear them up? The answer is absolutely. I typically don't wear my hair up because, let's face it, my hair looks so good down, who would need to do that? But truthfully, um, when I don't have my hair extensions in, I wear my hair up all the time and I don't love it because I, I pull it up because it's just, it doesn't do anything. So I'm gonna show you that you can wear it up and that way it's out of my way. Um, I like to be as gentle with my hair as possible. Um, I don't recommend pulling it up into a high ponytail for at least the first couple of weeks after installation, um, just because it's right against your scalp, so it's nice and fresh. But you can see, like I have my hair up, and you cannot see extensions. So for you girls who are worried about that, go ahead and put your hair up. But also just remember anything you do to it is going to affect how well it lasts and how well you get to keep it on your head. So also it's heavy, like I have a lot of hair, even though I only have one row now. Um, I don't like that at all. It, see, I like my hair down but I'm gonna, I'll do it in a bun. Um, you know, my goal is to keep my hair and my extensions and everything. I want it to last as long as possible. And so that's a choice I make because I don't wanna do a lot of tugging and all of that. And I miss having really nice hair down here. So there's my high bun. My hair is really, really kind of fine and thin around um, around the base, but when I place your extensions in, it's always, you know, I'm always keeping in mind, like, where you wear your hair, are we doing one row or two, and literally, you can't tell that I have extensions, period. So, I just wanted to do a quick little uh, get ready video. I'm really disappointed with how I opened this Glam Glow stuff. So I'm gonna just put that back in there. But I love it. It's a great moisturizer. It smells really, really good. And so the reason I'm doing this video is because I'm procrastinating. <laughs> yeah, so I um, got up at 5.45 like normal and got the kids ready for school. CJ got home last night like at 11 o'clock, I had already fallen asleep, pretending to be awake in bed with the light on. I was trying to play my uh, bejeweled, I don't know, poker game. And I just, he would call and I fell asleep. Oh my gosh, it was funny. He's like, hey, are you up? I'm like, mm-hmm, I'm just sleeping. 
<laughs> so he got home, we went to bed, and got up this morning. He took the kids to school. I'm still not feeling well, but um, I'm not sure if I'm getting like a flare up of the sarcoidosis. Hi, Michelle. Getting cute for today. Um, or last night I did have to do my methotrexate injection, and I do, I'm just, I'm sensitive to side effects, so, um, we're talking about possibly adding, like, a CBD oil or something to see if I can get a little relief from the inflammation. It's just, it's everywhere right now, so, um, but yeah, so I'm procrastinating hard. I've already done... Uh, two loads of laundry. I did the dishes. I scrubbed all three toilets. Now who in their right mind is going to scrub toilets voluntarily instead of doing work? So I am working from home today, obviously. Uh, but I was still in my pajamas, so I thought maybe I would be a little more motivated to sit down and do work if I kind of looked like I was awake. So I changed into my Tommy Hilfiger mom jeans. CJ hates them. They are literally like new jeans from Tommy, but since we grew up in the 90s, like that's what all jeans looked like is the higher waist and like, I don't know, they're just a little baggy but tighter at the bottom. So probably not my most flattering jeans, but they're comfortable and then I can do work in them. So you guys are getting like all my stuff today. So what else is going on? Yeah, so procrastinating and doing all this other stuff that I really don't need to do. But the reason I'm procrastinating is because it's a big project that I'm working on. This is my Ride or Die Tardis Glow Palette. It has seen some some stuff, don't you think? Um, so yeah, on Monday, do you remember Monday? Not that long ago. I worked from home in my office, locked in here with my computer on, and I really, I was really super productive, got all my marketing funnel videos and um, documents and links, everything uploaded, and it was really, really good. And then today, I, it's just been a long, busy week. This is like my new favorite, new favorite, favorite highlighter. It's from Anastasia XX. Amrezi or Amrezi, I don't know how you say it. Cute Instagram girl. But it's like super glowy. It's like, oh, so good. So I'm just keeping it simple today, but I have to have a little highlight. My nose is running. Darby is getting a little bit of a cold. So. Anyway, so the big project that I am working on, I've told you guys before, I'm trying to get my website launched for Strand Salon, and I have to have it done, even if it's just like a simple, like I, I'm making it more complicated than it needs to be. I've been working on it for a year. <sighs> just do it already. Um, you know, but now I'm like, okay, it doesn't have to be perfection. It just has to exist so that I have a, a place for everyone to land. Um, so I'm trying to get that worked on and launched in the next week or two. Um, yeah, I'm just making it harder than it needs to be. So I'm using my Too Faced Peach palette for just my lids, and I love the combination of, it's Georgia and Bellini. It is this one and that one. They're just creamy with a little bit of shimmer. A little peachy pink little neutral and it's just enough to give you a little shape in there and then instead of eyeliner what I'm going to do is my old faithful trick I've been using this trick since high school so I have a little experience with it just a little brush and then a black matte shadow this is in my MAC palette this has seen some things I took this with me to California in June and it did not make the trip very well. I'm not sure um, what to do about that. So I'm just avoiding it and ignoring it. Um, so just a little bit of the carbon and then I just gently kind of tap that in at the lash line. And also this is nice as your first layer if you're going to do like um, like a winged liner or liquid liner or something like that. It's just, it's helpful to have something down already so you're not starting from scratch. Look at that. It's amazing, isn't it? So fast. I 
and just like super, super easy. This is great for those fast mornings when you need to look a little more pulled together. And then you don't wanna go like shh because that sometimes can cause a little fallout. The MAC shadow does not have a lot of fallout, I found. Um, I've used other ones that just, it's a blanket of like, black underneath your eye when you're done. So that's pretty much all I'm doing today. I'm going to keep it very simple. Um, so that's, that's my plan. I'm avoiding big projects and I'm just making it harder for myself, I know. Um, and you know, I am not a website builder, but I did take an online class geared specifically for hairstylists. So I know that I'm capable of it. It's drag and drop, it's through Wix. It's a great platform and it's, it's gonna be amazing. And now I have really good pictures and that was my other thing holding me back. Like all I had was my old iPhone photos of like my before and afters. And it was just, it didn't look cute. So now I've just kind of simplified in my mind what the results need to be and it makes me feel a little better. However, sometimes you just need a little, a little oomph before you get going for the day. So definitely like I'm pulling this trick out from like my stay at home mama, mama days. Um, like get up, get dressed, put a little makeup on, you'll feel so much better. And so now I feel like I'm ready to conquer the world. Um, again, hope you liked seeing me put my NBR extensions up in a bun. I probably won't keep it up because like I said, I like having my hair down. It makes me feel pretty. Uh, but this is actually, this is working really well. I think I'm at five weeks now when I grow out. So a lot of times like people will say they have a sweet spot. Usually you get them moved up between six and eight weeks and um, the first couple of weeks, everything's really fresh and tight and just like, woo. -hoo. And then, you know, things loosen up a little bit as they grow out and then it's easier to kind of put it where you want it. But um, yeah, between like four and six weeks is really where everything feels really comfortable. Like it just doesn't even feel like you have anything on your head. Um, and in fact, I do forget a lot of times and then I'm like, oh, what's going on there? Because it's just, it's so good. I love it. So now I have a fat bun back and I'm a happy girl. So I'm gonna, I'm going to start, I'm going to start. I'm just going to start. I'm gonna work on my website at least for a couple of hours and then not put so much pressure on myself to make it perfect and get it all done today. I've got a busy week coming up. Next week I have a new guest coming in for her install and then um, really busy week with the rest of clients and then I can't remember what's happening Thursday. Oh, next week is all, oh, it's when I was supposed to be in California, but it's homecoming week for Darby at her school. So we've got events every single day. And then she has her homecoming dance on Friday. So I'm so excited. Thanks, Michelle. And I'm almost done with the script too. I am in love. So I'll talk to you about that later. Um, yeah, so it's just so busy and I really need to be productive um, instead of just busy and avoiding things, I'm just gonna do it. So if you guys need anything, you know where to find me. Um, check back here, also Instagram, it's at Beauty by Lindsay C. YouTube channel has some fun stuff on it. That's also Beauty by Lindsay C. And if you guys are interested in your own consultation, right here on this channel, just look up and press the learn more button and that takes you right to my application. And just fill that out and then we can have a one-on-one -on -one consultation for your Natural Beaded Rose Extensions experience at Strand Salon in Corning, New York. All right guys, I'm gonna get to work. Uh, wish me luck, give me all the good vibes, and I will talk to you tomorrow.